Morning, welcome back to another video and today we are going to be going over five weird farms that you can do right now. Now just stick around and enjoy the video. Now obviously we're going to be going over some weird-ish farms for this video so let's just jump into number one which is Mojo. This is a battle pet which you can only get through Zulaman. What you'll be wanting to do is get a hold of the Amani hex rods. Basically they're like sticks in which you pick up from the mobs which inside Zulaman. And what you'll be wanting to do is gather up a load of these by killing all of the trash. Do not destroy the bosses, however. And what you'll be wanting to do is by picking up those rods and then running over to any of the frogs in which are in the centralized area of the map. What you'll be wanting to do is using those rods, those Amani hex rods, on the actual frogs in particular. These can actually turn into different types of NPCs and also can also have a chance of giving you Mojo which is a frog based battle pet. Now not a lot of people actually farm this up and this can actually fetch for a pretty penny on most servers. This is due to the fact that not many people actually know about this farm and also it's kind of weird because you have to literally go into a dungeon, you have to completely bypass and just not even care about the timer which you're actually on and you have to pick up a stick in which you have to find a frog and then transform it and hope it turns into a frog. So that's one of the farms in which I would actually like to showcase in this thing and this was the actual farm that I've actually made me want to make this list video because I was like so that's kind of weird. <laughs> so other than that, this actually does fetch a pretty penny. And overall, this is a really easy battle pet in order to get a hold of. All you really have to do is just run around attacking frogs with sticks. This can be reset, however, also if you don't kill any of the bosses. You just run out the instance and reset the instance and then retry again. Make sure that the timer does not hit zero, but other than that, just make sure that you just kill the trash, get hold of your sticks, cast it on some frogs, hope you get the battle pet. Aside from that, let's just move into number two, which is the Apixus Crystal Farm. Now this one is located in the Blasted Lands. And yes, we are not going into Wad for Apexus Crystals. I am sick with Apexus Crystals and I know it's been a few years. So, what you'll be wanting to do with these Apexus Crystals, however, is they are actually collected within your bag and not as an actual currency, so to speak. What you'll actually be wanting to do is buy, however, you'll be wanting to kill all the mobs on the area located on the map right now. Basically, they have a chance of dropping Apexus Crystals, and this is a great way if you bring your Skinner, you can also get hold of Crit, and also get a load of Crystal Infused Leather along with this when you're actually doing this as well. All you have to really do is get a load of Apexus Crystals and run over to any of the nests which are located on the screen right now. I've done that on the map as well, so you can actually see where the nests are roughly. Basically, all you have to do is, once you've got the necessary amount required for other Pexus Crystals, you, all you have to do is bring down one of the dragons, kill him, and then after that, you just get a hold of a blue soulbound item. Now, depending on which one you actually get, is dependent on what you're actually going to be getting from this. You will also have to gather up more Apexus Crystals in order to turn this into an actual item, which will then be a BOE. You will then be able to sell those BOEs on the auction house. Now, a lot of people actually do bypass this because it just takes a lot of work in order to do, and that is where the gold per hour comes from. The gold for these items are quite high because they're only from this type of farm. So if you are actually willing to put in the time and the effort in order to get hold of the cloak, the weapon, the other different things, the trinkets aren't that good. But other than that, what you'll be wanting to do is by opening up any of the transmog items that you get along with this because they fetch a high amount of gold on the auction house as they are unique to that farm particular. So other than that, a Pexus Crystal Farm 
brilliant and amazing to do. Coming in at number three is the Blasted Rares farm. Now this is where you'll be going over to the Blasted Lands, which is in the Eastern Kingdoms. What you'll be wanting to do is following the route on the screen right now, and this is where you'll be actually wanting to find and kill any of the rares which are in the zone. What you'll be wanting to do is, by killing those rares, you'll be also getting Dranathist Crystals and Perfect Dranathist Crystals basically the fragments and the actual spheres uh, basically they aren't really crystals they say fragment and spheres and all that jazz those can actually be bought off of the auction house as well so you can either sell those directly on the auction house but really it's more or less a transmog farm yes I know basically you'll be getting transmog items from all of the rares regardless and also along with that you will also be getting a hold of those spheres and fragments which then you can turn into the vendor which once you've actually quest clicked the quest item it will actually tell you exactly where the guy is and then you just hand those in. What you'll be wanting to do then however is by opening up the bags you get from that quest reward for BOE items which you can actually sell in the auction house. Some of those are like the Imperial Chain Vest which is a transmog item which sells for a very nice amount of gold overall and is a very sought after different type of transmog item in which you can actually do. Now this is a bit of an unorthodox type of transmog farm as this isn't a conventional one where you run into an instance, kill a load of mobs, kill a load of mobs, no you're just specifically farming the rares and if you see a chest on the ground obviously you open it but aside from that you'll be just killing the rares and doing in all of the hand ins this is so you can get an adequate amount of gold overall and it is a great way in order to make a reasonable amount of gold of transmog items in a very short amount of time coming in for our next farm is the black fang claws or the savage cub farm now this one is located within the Tanan jungle and it's located on the screen right now. Basically what you'll be wanting to do is kill all of the mobs in this area and you'll be get rewarded with a soulbound item called Black Fang Claws. What you'll be wanting to do is farm up enough in order to buy from the reputation vendor of the Saber Stalkers and basically turn those in for the battle pet of the Savage Cub. Now the Savage Cub can be sold on the auction house for a relatively strong amount of gold. This is due to the fact that it's locked behind those reputations and also is locked behind the, the actual unique item in which you have to use to actually buy this battle pet. That is where the gold per hour actually comes from is because you're actually having to farm a soulbound item specifically so you don't have to buy a load of mats off the auction house to actually get it you actually literally have to farm it yourself in order to get a hold of this battle pet that's why people will pay a premium price in order for this battle pet in order to get a hold of it because they don't want to do the necessary farming to get a hold of it so basically you're doing their work for them and they pay you the premium for doing that that is basically where you're getting your gold value from for the savage cub now coming in last on our list is the mechanical chicken farm now this one is quite an old one and this one can be done by completing three of the main quest items now these quest items can actually be farmed up by killing any of the mobs in these specific zones now these are beacons now what you'll be wanting to do first is start off in Zulfarak now what you'll be wanting to do is as well as farming the zone up you'll be gathering all of the mobs burning them down until you get the beacon once you've got the beacon all you have to do is guide the chicken like basically do the quest and once you've done the quest all you have to do is then return that to booty bay and along with that the other different types of zones is by going over towards the hinterlands which then if you kill anything in the hinterlands it will drop the beacon as well as well as that is also the Feralus as well, where primarily I kill the Yetis because I found that to be the most easiest way in order to do it, and primarily that it doesn't take that long in order to do. Now one key note, once you've done all three of them, you will have a quest from that quest giver in order to, and he will give you your mechanical chicken. Now, stop, before you learn it and cage it, you cannot. Basically, this is a battle pet in which when you're actually being given it, you have to sell it on the auction house with that on, as it is. You can't cage the pet. So once you've learnt it, you can't unlearn it, so to speak, and or cage it. 
you actually have to sell it as it is when it gets given to you from the quest giver. I actually made this mistake a while back and I was very stupid because it was going at like 40,000 gold and I had just spent ages trying to get a hold of this, so I don't want you guys to make the same mistake that I have done in the past. So other than that, the mechanical chicken actually sells for a decent amount of gold on the auction house and overall is a great way in order to make a reasonable amount of gold in a very short amount of time. Other than that guys, that is pretty much 5 weird gold farms that you can do right now. Have an awesome rest of the day and I shall see you in the next video which will be tomorrow.